all my art lovers out there. I have a new craft from our art to go craft bag, and I just want to show you my finished products. On one side, you see the long banner, and it says welcome. I used the dot letters, just like I told you about in one of our other videos. And you will also see my small one that says fall. I am out on my back porch, and I just hung those on my back door just so you could see. Now, I do want to take you back to my art table. If you'll follow me very quickly, I'm going to put my camera back down, and I am going to show you some things I have. Now, I'm just working at my table on my back porch. I love to get out here and work because it's usually breezy and it's screened in so it keeps the gnats and the flies away. But I wanna share with you today some secrets about working with burlap. Now this is another one that I did that I actually painted. On those two, I painted the letters, but I used some different things that you will find in your craft bag if you pick up one from the library. But this is one that I actually painted my pumpkins. I painted my pumpkins and I painted my stems. I put a little bit of vine on them. And then I actually decorated with some leaves that you'll find in your kit. I decorated with some flowers that you'll find in your kit. And also a little bit of raffia ribbon and a little bit of um, twine. So I just, and buttons, I almost forgot the buttons. And those also are in your kit. So I wanted to tell you some secrets about working with the burlap and decorating with the burlap decorating on the burlap. Um, I think I gave you some pointers about using the raffia ribbon a few, in a few videos back. Um, I used a lot of hot glue on this. The only thing about using hot glue is if you put it on a door that gets very hot, it may make some of your things move on your canvas. But my porch is all in the shade throughout the day, so I hang a lot of, of my crafts and things out here on the porch. But you can also use your raft, your um, cord, and a lot of times I will take some cord and I will tie a knot in it. And I will just twist it and unravel the ends of my cord. And when I unravel the ends of my cord, it pulls apart and it makes, it, you can either do your threads separately because they will pull apart separately. And if you pull those threads apart, then you can even separate all of the threads and make it kind of hairy, as I call it. Or you can leave it just, and a lot of times when you put that behind your buttons or behind your raffia ribbon like this, it just adds a little bit to it. It just embellishes it. I like that word, embellish. So a lot of things you can do with your jute cord and you can find this in different um, different strands, like bigger strands or smaller strands. Um, and you can find this at a lot of different places. You can get this at the Dollar Tree, or a lot of times I buy mine at Harbor Freight. That's a good place to buy craft things also. Now, something I do want to talk to you about with using burlap. I want to show you how to keep your burlap from unraveling. I'm just gonna move this for right now. And in your kit, you're going to get a long piece of burlap. 
Now, you may use it this long when you do your craft. You may use it sideways. You may want to make a long banner. You may want to make a long banner like this, like I created, or you may want to cut it and make several small banners. But I want to show you how to, to use this and how to keep it from fraying. If you'll notice along the bottom here, you can pull off and you can go through and pull every single one out if you want to. And if you're not careful, that might happen. But I wanna show you what you can do to keep that from happening. Now, if you buy or you find a burlap sack that you wanna cut into pieces, I first want to show you how to cut your burlap straight so you will have a straight line. You're going to take a safety pin. I like to use a big safety pin. I use this big safety pin for many different things. And I've learned that this is a good way to cut your burlap straight. Now, you're gonna find the line that you want to cut on, and you're just going to stick your pin through there and you're going to pull that one string, pull it out all the way through. And then you can just pull these strings off until you have a straight line. Now, if you wanna keep this, like on, on the one that I did, I had some fringe at the bottom. If you wanna keep this fringe from unraveling anymore, take your Mod Podge, take your foam brush, and just brush your Mod Podge on the very ends of it. Brush it on the ends all the way up, brush it on the sides all the way up, brush it on the top, and it will preserve it and it will keep it from fraying. Now, on this one, that makes my bottom straight. Let's get our top straight. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to pull with the pin. I'm just going to pull out that top one and the second one. Well, I think I'll pull one out in between those two. Let's pull the third one. We're going to pull that string out. And then, once I get it completely out, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna put this up close so that you can see it. There's a line, a thick line in between the top two strings and the bottom. And you'll just take your scissors and cut right along that line and then you'll have your burlap cut straight, okay? So, I want everybody to have a lot of fun. You can paint your burlap. You can hot glue or glue flowers on it. Um, I think you have some scarecrows in your bag that you may want to use. Um, paint you a welcome sign with your dot letters. Just have fun with your bur burlap and send us a picture and on Facebook and let us see the crafts that you've made or you've done. And we hope that you enjoy it during this October month. You have a lot of fun with it and we'll talk to you again later. See you soon. Bye.